The Thurman and Lala podcast starts right now. There's been an eventful week in our little circle of, you know, friends and world and shit. Homoerotic escapades. Uh, furries. Spirit, the universe is herpes. Yes. my lips. <laughs> it would be weird. funny. I would laugh. <laughs> like, yeah. These are real things. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're biased, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't have fought it on a cake. Um, Does your mom or anyone you work with listen to this? I hope not. Does anyone listen to this? Ah! <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. Okay. Forty minutes in, we got racist. Camp down, racist. Whack that dong. Oh, Stand down, you bitch. Oh, if you're... this is why the show goes so well. Yeah. Does it go well? It does go well. I... And it's gonna fucking start right now. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, my clitoris. Give it all down, no duo leads. Give it all down, no duo leads. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Remember we did that? I'm not even kidding you. That's what every one of these fucking songs and drum A is about. That was 100. <laughs> percent When we did the uh, the the bit about um, pedophilia, but to the song Ophelia by the band, <laughs> yeah. and I was trying to sing it, but I couldn't hit the register. But the only way that I actually could was to do my Louis Armstrong impression, yeah. <laughs> and for some reason. Pedophilia. Like, I couldn't do it, but yeah. for some reason, so people were probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I don't get that aspect of the joke. Like, was anyone he, who hears. Was, was Louis Armstrong a fucking pedophile? You know what I mean? Anyone no. who hears you doing the, like, cutting that without all the shit in the headphones? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all I can say is uh, prove Louis Armstrong wasn't a pedophile. Yeah. So. That's true. That's used hard. to call him Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> 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 That's great. Off to a good start today. Here Jesus we go. Stretch, just like I, that joke. Dude, when I listen back to like, the, you know, when I'm checking all the new episodes and shit, I'm like, wow, we really just jumped right back in, huh? Yeah. <laughs> just like, you know, like, hey, everybody, we're going to mature a little bit. And then 20 minutes in, we're just like, he fucked a kid. We know Michael did it, but who cares? <laughs> His music's too good. <laughs> it's too good. Um, Yeah. I mean, is that why people listen to us? It's probably not. It's cathartic. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think when they hear me talk, it makes everyone else feel better about themselves. Yeah. yeah. Or that they can silently agree in their car. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like you say everything that people are thinking and know they should not say. Right. Yeah. So somebody's got to do it, you know. I'm not I'm not your fucking Yeah, dude, we're li- we're diving messiah. on the sword for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Venmo me. Yeah. Venmo me. All right. I'm not doing any. I mean, this is live. You can just Venmo me. I have bills to pay. <laughs> yeah. I just paid a bunch. And uh, now I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude. And then part of me is like, well, the world's ending. Do I really have to pay? You know? That's the question, too. There's like a lot. Like, hey, man, it's first of the month, dude. Like, yeah. There's a lot of like confusion with my friends who are renting or something. Or, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Well, like, I mean, there's some things that say, yes, you do have to pay. Other things that say, no, you don't. And which one do you listen to? You know, yeah. Um, I'd rather be the don't pay, but it, you know, I'm, you know, that's not good. Um, you know, yeah, because then it just tags it on the end of like another the next you know one. I mean? Yeah, At the so, end of the year. You're yeah, gonna... yeah. And you don't want that. You know what I mean? Well, that's what's happening with school. Like this is the longest snow day of all time. Yeah, pandemic day. And I don't want to. God damn it! This is what everybody like. We're far enough in now that I'm like, can we can we talk about something else now? <laughs> That's what but I that, was thinking something too. Something happens, you know what I mean? No, nothing new has happened in a little bit, other than we're just chilling, right? Spring's here. That's nice. Spring is sprung. It is very nice to hear birds. Spring is sprung. Yeah, and you know. it's a good time to get out and walk out in the woods alone by yourself. You know, <laughs> so like. My life has not changed that much. It's usually what I do anyway. So yeah, girls uh, who go out in the woods by themselves, make sure to live tweet Steve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turn on that location. <laughs> Turn on that location. Let's just make sure you're safe. Oh, man. <laughs> I've got, you got to look out for Jesus one another. Christ. That's just what I'm doing. You young um, ladies better carry a rape whistle with you. That just lets other rapists know that the party's over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it does. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the bat signal for other rapists. You know Jesus. I mean? <laughs> Remember to yell bear. <laughs> That's all it's going to do. It's like when you, when you just hear off in the distance, you just hear you're like, someone's having a party. <laughs> you just hear music playing. And you're like, that sounds fun. Fucking bat signal. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. How I mean, long have we been on? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, Already? welcome. 
but yeah, Woo. people well, answer it. Do you guys want to hear a quick perspective from a landlord? Yeah. yeah. Um, I would be more than happy to defer rent if my tenant couldn't pay. But who's going to defer my mortgage? Yeah, it just goes up the ladder, right? Yeah. Right. Eventually, we're going to have to pay. It's just a deferment. It's not. Yeah. You don't get free men- free right. rent for a month. You you owe later. Yeah. Um, or you figure out like I got a buddy who's like they're like look you know there's stuff that needs to be done in the place like you know stain the porch or you know what yeah. I mean like do something and we'll call it kind of even or I don't know. I don't I don't have a problem with that, but at the same time, go fuck yourself. Pay your bills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah, I mean, but nobody... They, are. they just I, suddenly cut off everybody's source of fucking income. So people who are living week to week, they're like, all right, well, uh, I, what I do we I just heard that New York State, if you go on unemployment, because people aren't really making enough, like at the unemployment cap um, is like 500-something. That's like the most you can make. So what I hear is happening is that they're tacking on an extra $600 on top of that. For your unemployment. Now, I, I think it's not just a one-time <clears throat> payment. What I heard was that it was going to continue, which is kind of nice. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd and be great. At Here's- least this virus hit during tax season. You know what I mean? When everyone's getting their taxes back, maybe that might <laughs> kind of help. You know what I mean? Well, uh, okay. So I just it got- helped, It's helping me. That's for sure. I haven't got mine back, but it's keeping me going. That's for sure. <laughs> I mean, just to look forward to something, you know. Everybody's got to have something. Luckily, I'm fortunate enough to have a saving. So if I do have to defer right. payment for my tenant, we can pay our mortgage. Right. It's fine. That's good. It's no problem. But I, I understand there's a lot of people out there that maybe can't do that and they don't have a source of income right now right. and they can't pay their fucking bills. That's fine. Also fine. But those are the same fucking people that are like, when I get my stimulus check, I'm buying a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't just remember that Chappelle so sketch. You can't yeah, just give people money. And I'm not no. saying I'm just all, all people, all people, because when they're like, hey, you might get this. And I'm never like, oh, I'll keep it. And that'll get us through this tough time. And I'm like, oh, shit. The fucking new dunks just came out. I could get those. <laughs> well, <laughs> we could get a new camera for the live stream. That's cool. But that's. I would never expect to not have to pay my bills. You know what I mean? And yeah, it's, yeah, it yeah. Just, yeah. It's not a realistic thing that you'd ever, because that's no. one thing that's going to be constant for everyone. Like life. I said, it just gets no tagged matter why. On. So if you're, you're, you, you know, either figure out a way to even it out or just kind of play through it. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. It uh, just really chaps my ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, no, I mean, I hear it. It's changing everything, man. And it's hard. Yeah, spring is here, but then we're back to talking about this because it's like literally changed everyone's fucking life. Everyone's day to day. I was listening to a show today, and this girl called in, and she it just her entire day to day life went just completely sideways. Like now she's a, a teacher. She's like, now I'm a teacher. I was never a teacher. <laughs> now I'm a teacher. Now I'm taking care of everything, and we can't leave. They live in the city, they're in four walls. It's crazy. Yeah. Sick popsicles. <laughs> let's, get, let's get back on track. Here. Everybody's okay. all right. Everybody's gonna get so sick of this shit. I know. And then they're like, I need escapism, and they turn into us, and we're like, well, the unemployment. They're like, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. We'll get off of that. Um, back to the yeah. fuck. Back to spring is sprung. Go the fuck outside. Do some yard work. Yeah, it's nice. You know I'm saying it's a beautiful day outside. Like I said, I wanted to ride my motorcycle. I'm late because I kept saying, like, come on, battery, just 10 more minutes. You can charge. And <laughs> go get yourself out there. Get some fresh fucking air. Fish it, while it you can. It would have been, I think, more acceptable if you showed up late on a fucking motorcycle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it kind of comes with the territory. Well, you know was, what I'm saying? That and at the same time, you're like, you should have just, like, cut through all the traffic, like, in a movie. Yeah, that's and too <laughs> weaved. And you should have jumped off th- over rooftops and shit. And I just drove <laughs> the truck. I tell you, dude, uh, I didn't realize it was a it was a thing that it was legal for in California for motorcycles to oh, weave in putting, out yeah. of fucking yeah, and that scared the shit out of me because when I was stuck in traffic, you know, right by, and I was like, oh my god, because my window was open too, you know what I mean, and I I just wasn't expecting it, Do you especially think- like you know what I mean. What if I didn't know when I was merging and shit and. You know, like, that's fucking scary as hell, man. That's what I was just going to say. You think that's scary? Imagine being the guy doing the lane splitting when some dickhead moves over and you slam into the back of his truck. In theory, I think I would like a motorcycle, you know, Um, but in in actuality, I don't think I have the balls to pull it off. I really don't. I I don't know. I'd spook spook on a motorcycle like a horse spooks. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You just buck back. Like when a dog barks at it. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Well, I grew up on dirt bikes, so I knew full well that I wasn't at any point mature enough or responsible enough to own a road motorcycle. <laughs> I didn't yeah, buy one true. until I was 38. You start on that one, yeah. 
if you start on a dirt bike where you're just doing whatever the fuck you want anywhere, right? Yeah. It's pretty much. Yeah, it's like a f- roadside ditch, and I'll cut through that. Fuck your front <laughs> yard, bud. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rules anymore. No Who cares? rules. Um, yeah, yeah. So motorcycles are still there. That's cool. Let's, let's list things that are still normal, still right? Still normal. Netflix um, is cranking, man. <laughs> I'll, yeah, of course they are. Like yeah, we were talking about like shit we're watching and I'm on, uh, I'm on Treme now and uh, we're talking about the old New Orleans and God damn it. Did those people get fucked, huh? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. God, you just feel bad for them. Yeah. Right? It's a terrible. A I, don't mean, I don't mean to laugh at that whole thing, keep, but yeah, you're right. I mean. But the music, we're talking about the music. That show has so much music. Like we're playing at the beginning and it's just every song Every time I just look at Lee, and when they're like, hey, you take my baby down to New Orleans. <laughs> it's like every song is about New Orleans. Like if we, every song, every Mechanico song is just Lewiston, Lewiston, Lewiston. <laughs> take my baby down to Boogie on So everyone I know at Tops. <laughs> 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 it was awful. Oh, man, it's so hard to go that to That is kind of nice. Yeah. I mean, um, one of my good friends, he's a, you know, he. He's not a big, you know, he loves people, but like, you know, keeping his distance is like his thing. Yeah, you know? I'm right so here. This I'm sitting right here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, you know, so he's he's just fucking loving it. I mean, despite all the death. And so the saying dogs are probably like, dude, this is great. You're home all day. Yeah. We're walking all the time. Yeah. This is great. You know, the mailman doesn't get within six feet of me anymore. It's great. <laughs> Boomer, Boomer's on a normal schedule, dude. I, 8.30 in the morning, he goes in his crate, and he lays there until 3 in the afternoon. Jimmy's talking about his grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Boomer's my okay, little Boomer. shit dog. <laughs> oh, what I wanted to say is uh, I, have an, uh, I have an acquaintance in New Orleans. Uh, shout out to Alex Harris McDonald of the Daywalkers. Hell of a fucking washboard player, dude. Oh, yeah? Oh, cool. Um, but he's, he's having a hard time, of course, and uh, he posted a picture of Bourbon Street. Mm-hmm. Dead empty. Dead wow. Damn. See, we're back to it. It's hard to not talk about that. Yeah, <laughs> like, well, yeah, it's all around. It, it is, but, it is but it, weird, it, yeah. It's, it was the same way during, like, right before Treme was supposed to take place is what I was getting back to. So yeah. it's like, it, I love Treme because you get to see that whole rebuild yeah. thing happening and, like, yeah, the cool. people all taking care of each other and, like, getting back into normal and life. And still partying and then still, still having still a partying. sense of humor about it. Yeah. And, uh... There was like during one of the parties, someone held up a sign that says "FEMA said the beads will be here in 26 days" or something. <laughs> and like Steve Earle has a guitar that says "This machine floats." Like they had a sense of humor about yeah. it. You gotta constantly have that sense of humor, or then you just really lose. Like you want to be laughing your way to the apocalypse. Right. Well, there's mm-hmm. something that's still there. Then all of our senses of humor, for the most part. Yeah, that's true, man. That's the only thing you can do, uh, dude. Like some of the funniest fucking things that have that have happened have been at some of the darkest times like when um our good friend jackie who has passed away um when her father passed away that was my first irish wake or whatever i've ever been to you remember that it was just like at a bar yeah remember that that was at a tin pan or whatever and that was like one of the best times i've ever had in my life you know what i mean but that what a way to celebrate i mean i think in to translate or what to feed that over is just like that's kind of, I feel like what we not, you know, get all fucking drunk and yell at and everything, but you know what I'm saying? Like, just fucking try to enjoy the things that you have um, right now because uh, a lot of people are having that shit taken away from them. That's what I'm trying to do. It's just yeah. be, dude, through this whole thing, I I think I was just miserable all winter just because it was winter. It's fucking and weird. then now this thing's happening and now I'm trying to, you know, like, you know, just think about things that I have and how fortunate I am and shit like that. And that's nice. That carries over. Maybe that'll be a good recalibration for people. That's what I'm thinking, you know? Um, But then at the same time, I'm getting all sentimental. I'm like, oh, dude, I wonder what, you know, so-and-so is up to. I'd like to hang. No, I can't hang out with (laughs) the fuck. You know what I mean? Then I'm like, you know, you can, who's the inner, inner circle? (laughs) This is the people that I've seen so far since this is, you know, gone on. Now I'm like all oh, like sketchy of different people. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I went to work the other day. Uh, I was picking up shifts and fucking, uh, you know, I'm just kind of like, now I'm looking at people like, yeah, where have you been? It's where weird. You know it's what weird. I, mean? and I like, think what like, doing? don't touch me. Don't breathe. Even if it just passes and it's not as bad as we thought or like whatever, we get through it and things go, you know, back to normal. I think that's always going to be there. Like you can't cough in public anymore. I don't think so. I think that's yeah. gone. Let's do an experiment. 
Two people go out in public. One coughs. One says the N word. <laughs> See what happens. What has a bigger See reaction? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys want to play spoons? <laughs> yeah. Draw straws. Oh, not it. You can't draw straws game. anymore. God damn it! This whole world. Yeah, no I know. more fun. Fuck. Uh, they took away our plastic bags, our straws. Maybe that was it, man. I think that was it. The plastic bags. Because like we you think all big plastics like no no I think plastic us. bags was the only thing keeping it all balanced and oh. for some reason as humans we knew we needed these fucking things that's why we collected them like crazy <laughs> we, all, we all have I don't like, know I have a bag, bag of three hundred yeah yeah plastic why? bags but. why do we all need that we all felt like I need to keep these things and as soon as they said take those right. away everything went fucking balooey that's where I put dog shit you know what I mean that's, that's what I, and now I'm just using big garbage bags for like the fucking garbage can <laughs> yeah. so now I'm using giant garbage bags yeah. for it. now you know I'm I mean? literally just using turtles I <laughs> scoop <up laughs> dog shit and I throw the turtle in the river <laughs> here you go buddy back to where you belong <laughs> you just cutting out all the middle man I see <laughs> just shit on a turtle <laughs> I just had like the perfect visual about <laughs> carrying it all far away from himself. Sorry. It's perfect, man. It's backfiring. The whole thing's I think the whole thing's backfiring too, like you said. All right. I don't mind if you know you skip a not skip, but like defer a month's rent. But then am I going to defer the mortgage? And then whoever is that, it goes up the chain, and it eventually hits Bill Gates. And then we're like, right. ah, this whole thing backfired on you, four eyes. Good job. See Someone said uh, believe him because he's been getting viruses since 95. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone, yeah, someone put up a screenshot of like a Windows page with all these things up, and it's like, we're going to let this guy tell us how to take care of a virus. <laughs> Uh, uh, I was actually going to b- bring a 12-pack of Corona over, and then I realized that I hate seeing people, so I didn't, w- didn't want to stop at Tops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really, this is like this is working out for, you know, people who are okay just being on their own. Right. Just chilling. I hate that public small talk. Jesus, fuck. If I didn't make plans to it. see you or we're not in a bar, like, don't talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, except you, for, you know, like my friends. Yeah, or except for just like a quick, you see your buddy and you're like, hey, man, what's going on? He's like, how are you doing? Like, he's busy. You're busy. Acknowledge what's up. If Should there's anything to say. Yes, exactly. This is actually a pretty great time for, for that. To, because once small talk public <laughs> doesn't really happen anymore yeah. in too much, you know what I mean? Or yeah. it's from far away. And you're just like, yeah. hey, you doing? And yeah. Everyone's like, eh. And Crazy like, yeah, weather. Huh? Great. <laughs> you know, this thing, you know, okay, see ya. You know, that's it. That's fucking great. So now, like... Or when this thing's over eventually and we get back, you know what I mean? Imagine, like, cleaning up after the apocalypse and then your neighbor's doing the same thing. Like, hey, how you doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> You're like, fuck off. You don't know. This is done. This part of the world, this history, every, that part is gone, okay? Listen, I was nice to you for two months. L- <laughs> yeah. Leave me alone From for at least three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, if you're uh, running low on food, I got some critters for sale. Oh, you shit. just gotta I've start them up. coughing up you. Someone comes, oh hi, how you doing? How's your mom? <laughs> <laughs> no, but then I feel like you'd be like, you know, they'd be like, witch, yeah. and then, you know what I mean, and fucking burn you. <laughs> Make sure you're alone before you die. You know? Yeah. They would just, <laughs> I yeah. don't think that joke would work. Too. I think we have gotta wait at least for that. <laughs> you know too soon. Mean? Yeah. Too soon. Oh, oh my god! I actually, I just read. Uh, of course, it happened in New York City, I believe. Um, some idiot decided it'd be funny to cough on a cop. Oh, yeah. wasn't it that Jewish guy who I was like so. hoarding masks? He had like seven hundred masks, and he was selling them like way overpriced and coughing on people. Well, as and well? the feds came to bust him, and he started coughing on him. Oh, he, got, he got charged with, like, during a, this a time. Somebody like that act. just saw ching. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. This is like one of those weird Batman villains that you never heard from that much. <laughs> well, some, yeah. some douchebag spent like. Sixteen thousand dollars, or it might have been sixty. I don't remember. He like bought up a, the whole state's supply of hand sanitizer yeah. and tried selling it. And the cops and the feds shut him down. And we're like, sorry, you all know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> that sucks. It's like that fucking uh, who's the big pharma guy that bought the Wu Tang fucking oh Scrawly yeah Ryan Scrawly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck that guy. What the yeah. hell's he doing? Well, you know? he did. Someone had a good point about like he did shit that big companies do. 
But yeah. since it was a guy with a face yeah. named Martin, we could all be like, fuck you. Yeah. yeah like you true. look at a company and you you're like, fuck you, you suspicious overlord logo. <laughs> like, I don't know who's running this thing. When it's a guy, you get They're to actually be like, overlords. yeah, no, fuck that guy. <laughs> There's right. this guy I used to work with that actually, like, somehow we got in a fucking conversation about Ted Nugent. And then ever since that conversation, he just refers to Ted Nugent as Overlord. Because who? Because <laughs> why not? Like, who who beats Ted Nugent in anything? You know what I mean? Wildness, guitar. You know what I mean? He's Comes just swinging in on a vine. Yeah, like, he's clock, definitely yeah. Overlord. Uncle Ted. <laughs> I love how Art Park will never have him back, dude. Really? Why? Because... Didn't he like well, talk I think mad that, shit about Canada? <laughs> I'm not sure. I he definitely said his political stuff yeah, on there, but he there. brought the guns too. Oh, and yeah, I'm not sure if they yeah, remember? I don't remember. Dude, he had one of those fucking like big No, when those shows were like five barrel. bucks, do you know how drunk I got for those? I don't remember yeah. half of what There's I There's a lot of art park that is just a blur, you know? Dude, yeah, I know, man. From the perspective of like the the you know, security and shit like that, like yeah. watching people just pour into this place for a five dollar show. <laughs> And then spend three times the ticket amount on a on beer and feel like you made out, I guess. <laughs> like, just to watch people get so fucking dirty sloppy was probably hilarious. Well, remember Kurt's secret bur- beer hatch? Kind what? of, what? yeah. Like what something in the woods? Remember up at the top of the hill in the woods, Kurt oh, built that yeah, beer hatch. Oh, yeah, the friend Kurt. Yes, Kurt. We'd go stash, like, 10 fucking 99-cent deuces and up there. And we'd go in the, yeah. yeah. One day we go to do it, and there was a sign in there like, you should hide your beer hatch better. All the beers were gone. <laughs> oh, damn. But I feel like that I mean, was part fair. of the... That's fair. Yeah, it's fun. That's part of the fun. I yeah. was thinking, like, what that stops was people from... Um, what stops people from, like... I like I hike down the gorge in our park all the time, like especially like on Tuesdays in the summer. You're watching them set up. Mm-hmm. What stops someone from, like, whenever the, they start shutting the doors or whatever, from, you know, say they close the fence at 4 and, like, they open it at 6 or whatever. Yeah. You go in at 3.55 and walk down the trail and just chill out for a little bit yeah. and go on a hike down the trail and back up, and then you're just already inside. That's a good question. Yeah. We should or try that. Or they, like, monitor people coming out. You bring a backpack with, like, a change of clothes. You go out and, like, work out hiking gear. I was just going to say, wear yeah. that fucking chartreuse vest with the two reflective stripes on it that all those dickheads wear. So you can be, like, a worker? Oh, yeah. Oh, or do you mean yeah. the people, like, just... Just active people who wear those things no 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 like because uh, you'll see the that's a lot of what oh, the, the workers, workers are wearing oh yeah, so yeah, if so. you're down there when they start just come back walking out of the yeah. trail like that shaking your zipper Classic. like you just took a leak in the woods oh, yeah and there's just like <laughs> the worker that you beat up and took his vest is like in the fucking woods <laughs> Maybe you knocked him out i don't think you gotta beat him up those vests are four dollars but <laughs> i remember i got two um open container tickets like years and years ago um and i remember one, one like of those. one they were a week apart from the other because i was at your house jim and we were it was on south 7th right by <laughs> art park in lewiston and fucking we were walking down the street to the show and a, a local cop saw that i had a beer and i didn't get in trouble for underage drinking because i wasn't of age which was yeah. nice but he saw me chuck the beer and then like i pretended to be on my phone and, you know he was like okay and like he saw exact he saw the whole thing you know yeah. and i was like okay so then i had to go to um you know i got an appearance ticket or whatever i'm like okay that sucks so then the next week i'm with friends your uh, uh wife in fact and her friend katie and they were, you know, we're all underage. And I wasn't even drinking at this show the next week. And they were trying to get something out of their purse or whatever. So one of them asked me to hold their beer. Oh, and you got pegged like right there. Yeah, instantly. And the fucking state troopers who were hanging out came and got, <laughs> you know. And little did I know at the time, like their best friend, its dad was a cop. Pat, who was on our show yeah, before, yeah. and fucking, he got them out, and I didn't know, and then, so I had to do, like, community service because of this fucking thing, and they're just, like, just laughing it up, you know what I mean? I was like, you assholes. You know, yeah. it was my fault, I guess, you know. Oh, for holding? But I wasn't even for drinking holding a it beverage the second for time. a lady? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> See? You are Chivalry arrested should for be being dead. a gentleman. <laughs> Chivalry That's should how be I dead. like to look at it. <laughs> You're an a-hole. Yeah. Well, you know, um, yeah, there was one time I bought our, one of our friends got like a DWI in, in like a park mm-hmm. in, uh, in another park of part of town. And, uh, like a week later, me, him and our other buddy were standing like in the woods right off the main, uh, walk. Yeah. Like we were just kind of in the woods, right? There was a path that went up and we were standing right there and we we're finishing our Gatorade bottle of vodka <laughs> before oh. we went in. 
And uh, the cop, like, we saw cops drive by, and, like, they kind of looked at us, and we're like, all right, cool. And they obviously probably were like, these guys are smoking. Let's go fucking get them. And they came up. They drove the car by, and, like, ten, seven minutes later, behind us, they just came up out of the woods. And like, what's going on, guys? And you could tell they <laughs> thought they fucking had it. And they were, like, looking at us, and they're like... <laughs> <laughs> and like nothing <laughs> like your dog when you've been to somebody yeah. else's house with a dog <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah. hey, hey what's going on over here get off my pants man. what the fuck is that smell <laughs> we're very clear about this we don't like this and then uh they're like, what's going on guys and they're trying to be all tough guy and they're like circling us like bullies in an 80s movie like they really all <laughs> get it. guitar like, screech in the background yeah. <laughs> we're here yeah What's going on, four eyes? Oh, my God. Yeah. Dweebs. Dweebs. Dweebs, you fucking dweebs. <laughs> just, but, uh, just busting a bunch of skeevy stoners over. But, um, so. So he got in they trouble the week before. Yeah, and <clears throat> one of the cops was the same cop. And he's, like, looking at us, and, and like, he's, like, they're, they can tell they're, like, they thought they were going to bust us, but they couldn't. And I'm, like, just drinking my booze at 17, like, straight liquor. And I'm like, no, sir, just staying hydrated. <laughs> and then uh, he looks at my buddy. He goes, didn't I arrest you for a DWI last week? <laughs> and he goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? <laughs> and he goes, how's that working out for you? He's like, really? Not great. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> like, yeah. Dude, it's got to be weird to like run into that same person. Yeah. That I, hey. It would be weird to like. Didn't I ruin your life last week? Oh, I'm not yeah. gonna lie to you. It's not. No, that actually, awesome. I ruined my life last week. But you yeah. were there. You helped. You assisted. You, you were there. <laughs> you, you saw me do you it. You kind of shacked my Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> so remember Kobe? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Remember right. That? Remember that one? That was the craziest thing that ever happened. I mad people were like Kobe knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just. Oh my God, that's terrible. Kobe knew. Uh, when I there was a time in L.A. where I didn't have a home. So I was um, living in my car, and I used to sleep in the mountains of Calabasas because why not? It was beautiful, and there wasn't too much traffic and whatever. Where, literally, that's the, where the, he the richest people in the world yeah. live. Yeah. yeah, that sounds like. And fun, there was a even fruit uh, cart that like set up every morning right outside, so we had like fresh breakfast. It was a pretty great setup. But I was also able to you know park and sleep wherever I wanted, which was like, some night I'd be like, hey, let's go to the beach, you know, whatever. And I was just trying to make light of it. I was you know I was living the rock and roll dream. I wasn't going to fucking let, you know, something as silly as a home get in the way. Yeah. Rock and roll um, dream minus the house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> minus the big fancy. I figured that's kind of standard for anyone, like, trying to make it. Of, yeah, everybody's got to have facet. those stories. Yeah, yeah if just you don't like have that anybody story, lives in their you? car, you know what I mean? So I had to do it. I remember, yeah, like, Jerry, and one of the Jerry Garcia bi biographies I have, he talked about, like, him and his buddy were talking about like different ways to make soup out of like ketchup packets and you can have a different meal every week <laughs> like you know what i mean you put some salt in there and some I hot water and I, some ketchup i had like a homeless I kit I, my mouth. I, yeah. I knew it was happening you know ketchup soup yeah it sounds gross Ugh. oh yeah um but you do what you got to do luckily i had money i just didn't have a home um so i slept in my car whatever and it was great but that then i found out where kobe died where he crashed and was like right there, there yeah. i just can't imagine like you know, because it was so quiet. I just can't imagine sleeping out there and all of a sudden yeah. vroom, goes around, you know. It's like your yard. Vroom, and then, you're then I find out who was in it. Yeah. yeah. You're just waking up in the morning and stretching. And Another day in Calabasas. Yeah, exactly. You know. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Did you hear the first call from that? The guy was like, yeah, I was just, I heard a helicopter. And then I heard a crash. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> He's like, somebody's yeah. dead. Did you see the video of the one guy they interviewed, like, on the news, like, on the corner? No. Dude, he was the most concise motherfucker of all time. That, really? that like, made me think. I'm like, what's going on here? Like, the conspiracy, because <laughs> this guy was like, at approximately, uh, you know, 745, uh, the, 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 the uh, helicopter came, banked in due east, and, like, had yeah. all this shit, and they're like, this is just some guy that you found <laughs> on the sidewalk just who, like, has, like, the official medical, like, report of it, like, and he's reading it like a fucking robot. Uh. <laughs> Conspiracies yeah. abound. It is great. Dude, I'm trying to to reel back on that shit, but, like, every time something happens with this thing, I'm like, all right, who's who's the who's the win? <laughs> who's the gain? Dude, I got a Facebook friend. He's a, he's a buddy of mine. He worked at my cousin's tattoo shop for a while. Great guy. Except he's fucking crazy. Yeah, you can get, dude, and this is going to make those people even more crazy because they already, in normal life, they already spend all their time inside reading the internet about crazy shit the government's going to do. 
and now well, it's happening to dude, them at some, least. And now they can't go anywhere. They're, they're forced to stay inside. I, and do I that. saw an old guy at the store the other day who was like rambling that he doesn't believe any of it any of it oh, and there's... he's like wiping his mouth with like a napkin oh. and then like setting <laughs> oh. it on the counter and yeah. like as soon as this guy everyone was keeping that everyone was just whispering to themselves like this guy's gonna fucking go this guy's yeah. gonna oh. go and uh he's he's older than dirt this fucking i know he's a, like a local guy i know him and fucking but once, like dude once he just doesn't through, believe it. i mean because like, at this point you know you don't care like you don't care once about you've anything. lived through all that shit he's heard it all right he's heard all oh this year there's a pandemic there's all this shit he's that motherfucker remembers hitler this old guy <laughs> actually um he was i forget i think he served during vietnam but he wasn't in vietnam he was in like germany or something and this guy i i know him he's a you know like i said he's a just a, a old man who's been in Lewiston. He probably founded Lewiston. He's that. He's fucking old. But anyway, he he told me this one thing I'll never forget. And he's like, "You ever had the ultimate?" And now it's like, "What's an ultimate?" You know. Oh and he's like, "He's like when a white girl sucks your dick and a black girl sits on your face." <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's like, I did that in Germany, you know. And I was that like, sounds like what? the best sandwich the ever. Actually, yeah. I was like, wow, the ultimate. I was like, now I think restaurants should definitely make that a sandwich. You know what I mean? <laughs> Try to figure out what that would be. But uh, so ever since then, that's and whenever I hear the word ultimate, it's not too often, but when I do, there's that gem, yeah. and I'm just like, <laughs> like the, <laughs> yeah. the ultimate X Men. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like even more X Men here. Isn't that like Ultimate Ninja Warrior? Isn't that a show? <laughs> 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 or no, it's American Ninja Warrior. Fuck. There's well, all Ultimate that. Fighter. Ultimate there you Fighter. Go. Yeah. yeah. The UFC. <laughs> that's the training. Yeah, they're just in the thing. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Just in the like, octagon, just rah, 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 rah. Yeah. oh shit, pre-match workout. Right, yeah, I need a white girl. All I right, need man, a black girl. You got to hit the showers. Five more minutes. <laughs> Tap. He hasn't tapped out yet. Tapped out yet. I, oh, I think he's God. enjoying this. Actually, he's just yeah. taking quite the beating. No wonder they go in there all sweaty and greasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask Billy Quarantillo about this. About the ultimate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, is that your pre-match workout? Like you guys? Yeah, do the that's ultimate? a buddy of ours that we went to high school with. I mean, he's fucking kicking ass, man. Kicking ass. He was doing MMA for a while, and then now he's he's in the UFC, right? Yes, sir. He's contending. Got that's contract. pretty fucking awesome, man. Yeah, dude, that shit's badass. Love that dude. I remember we we a few years ago our band was playing one night, and he was fighting over at the casino. Yeah, I remember, and that was pretty fucking. And he won. And that was awesome, man. It was just a good feeling because this fuck. I've seen him fight Dude. in high school. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I know lose every scrapper. time. I no, I didn't. I don't think. <laughs> no, I remember what I we were gonna lose. do. We were playing down the street, and we were gonna get a sign that said "Congrats, Billy." Yeah. If he won, and then if he lost, we were just gonna rip off the part so it said "Rats, Billy." Yeah, yeah. rats, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What a great idea! Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, the hotel that they booked the loudest, a uh, psychedelic thrash funk rock band. <laughs> yeah, and, and they're like, we... there's family sleeping upstairs. <laughs> then why would you hire a band? Like, yeah. what the fuck is wrong like with you? Like a band band, not even like research it a little bit. Like, <laughs> yeah, they no. were like, they were expecting soft jazz or something. And yeah. we came in and all of our skeevy stoner friends were just like doing coke off every surface. <laughs> 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 they were like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> they, they expected a nice humble like Lewiston classic rock band or something. Oh, yeah, got us. Yeah, they go. I know this is uh, about time. Sons, <laughs> yeah. this is, uh, Thurman Brothers, Sons. Oh, just yeah, playing fucking the Sicko Mickey all this playing Primus. <laughs> Just ripping primus we that did i remember favorite. what i mean because we like to really kind of not say no to gigs because that's not really a good thing especially to do. when you're young oh, we yeah. played some weird fucking shows oh my um, god yeah when we we played at How somebody's like shop? wedding shower the tattoo party. shop was a great show that was a party was cool. at a tattoo that was a Halloween shop with party. mad cool people who loved that us. that was just an odd place to play but it wasn't a bad time yeah like solo i remember we played at wegman's one time at yep. the grocery store yeah oh, and and then they asked us not to play i got a voicemail from the lady she was just like yeah this is not going to be a thing anymore because we were singing about she said we sang about drugs and we swore we sang tom petty let's get you, to the yeah point. you don't know let's how it roll feels another joint i'm like you don't have any idea how many times that song is played out of your fucking loudspeakers <laughs> yeah. a day say that. every it's not like we were like everybody smoke crack come to wagons and smoke crack <laughs> <laughs> It's like that was like we played like the most popular song that says roll another joint. No, they just it was right before Christmas. He's talking about twisting his ankle. He's old. Yeah. Oh, you know? God. Yeah, that's why he was on those pills. They killed him. <laughs> you insensitive bitch. 
Dude, um, that's a terrible. Remember, we were talking about how fucking, oh, um, like, how lame it was when Farrah Fawcett like died on the same day as Michael uh-huh. Jackson. Because Farrah Fawcett, that would have been a big thing. But then, yeah. you know, and Michael Jackson died, and you're just like, okay, Mike died, you know. Yeah. Uh, Tom Petty died on the day that that va- that <laughs> yeah, fucking Vegas psycho shooting. shot yeah. up Vegas. You know what I mean? And Tom Petty day. is a national. It was fucking either the treasure. same day. It was like within the I'm same sure. like forty eight hour period. Wow. I think it was, yeah, and it was like, yeah, that's weird that they're Tom like, Petty's you know, dead. One hundred and thirty eight people are dead, and they're like, in other news, uh, American rocker Tom Petty passed away. Yeah, and then breaking from Vegas, you know, like, and that's you know, dude, I was at that time, I, I like when the Vegas thing happened, I was like. I was smoking constantly and, eating and just fucking reading comic books and just being a piece of shit, living a happy, happy, genuinely loving it. Yeah. <laughs> but just being like, all right, I gotta, I gotta work out. I gotta eat a salad. I'm, I'm, I'm a fucking being a, a real piece of shit lately. <laughs> like you know, you 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 gotta just dive down and then pull back on the stick. <laughs> you know? You're like loving life, eating like shit, just being lazy, and then you're like, all right, I gotta even out here. So the day I decided to even out, I got up, ate a good breakfast, went on a hike, didn't smoke out on the hike. And fucking came back in and was like, all right, I'm feeling good. It was a nice day. And then, like, yeah. opened up my computer and was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, do the worst. And then literally was like, yeah. oh, fuck. Is that, what the fuck? Like, that was the day. So that guy, there's the ripple effect of yeah. it. You know what I mean? There's everyone who died on 9-11 and everyone who got sick from it, too. So there was everybody who died in Vegas. And then guys like me who just, like, I was going to be healthy. I was going to be thin now. And I'm not. Because of that guy, <laughs> domestic terror. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> it's that guy's fault. Yeah. Yeah. That's a whole. You want to talk conspiracy theories? That one's fucking nuts. Didn't you say you knew people there? Well, uh, yeah. So I, when I was in a oh, band yeah. in California, um, I was in this band called Annabelle Black, and we were taking a break um, for a minute. Um, and I was either, we were either going to go to Vegas to visit her friend Mickey Howard. Who was that? The R and B singer. She was. She had some hits in the eighties and shit is like that. Is that the story with the with, with uh, the um, uh, out in the car with the windows? And yes. The, yes. With, tell that after this. Okay, I will. Um, so, so anyway, um, she was playing at her birthday. She had a thing in Vegas. So, my guitar player Kyle and the singer Leah, they were going to go to Vegas, and, and we were going to get ready for a tour. So we decided that um, I, I decided that I would go home and visit and shit like that. Right. Uh, I figured, and plus that was when I was feeling like shit, and that's when you guys got me that ticket to come home. And yeah, you, you know what I mean. Yeah. So um, I was like, yeah, Vegas not for me. So then I was home for like maybe like a week or so, and they went to Vegas. And then the next morning, I wake up to like a fucking text message, and it was from Leah, the singer, and she was like, oh my god, there's people dead everywhere. <laughs> like all this, I was, I was like, and I didn't know because I didn't hear the news yet. I didn't know what happened. So I was like, oh, oh so you my phone, god, you're like what? Yeah, I was like, yeah. what? You know what yeah, I mean? These are and new lyrics. These are great. Yeah, really this dark. shit's intense. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll get right on to court case. Yeah, yeah. some Rob Zombie shit. Like, yeah, just like metal. <laughs> um, this is the most metal thing that ever happened. Um, it's you know they took what uh, fucking Mayhem did and just upped it like by a thousand. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and fucking so anyway so so I kind of had that weird you know people like have like a like a guilt like complex or something if they miss out like people who should have been on a plane for nine survivor survivor guilt. Survivor guilt right Dennis I, Leary I on the firefighter that. show yes right I didn't feel that necessarily but i i was thinking about it and yeah. then even yesterday somebody brought up like you know going back to normal after this whole thing and i was like i wonder if like because of all the fucked up weird shit that i've done and pooped on things i shouldn't yeah. have i was gonna say you don't... I, if i make it through this like yes. why yeah. why did i make it through this you know what i mean why is tom petty dead and steve LaVarber lives you know what i'm saying it doesn't make any sense i was gonna say survivor's guilt you barely feel guilty for shit you actually did that's what i mean no i don't think i'm gonna have that but then i, I was I was thinking like yeah exactly <laughs> or you think like you're like oh, i fucked up i did a lot of bad shit and you're on a plane and you look and there's like a little girl you're like she's gonna die because god's gonna kill me <laughs> like, it's gonna be, yeah, she's gotta pay my bill <laughs> i'll never yeah i'll never like actually be 
I'll never repay the things that I've done to somebody yeah. here or the bullshit I've done in my No, karma. I think when you get you to know? the pearly gates, God's going to be like, you fucking shit in that box. <laughs> Just fist bump you real quick. Yeah. Like, Wait. Yo, we got a table for you in the back, man. We've been waiting for nice. you. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> she had only... that coming, yeah. you ask me. If, if, I got to say, know. man, Abraham Lincoln wants to meet you, dude. He's. <laughs> 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 we all know it. We all talk about it up here. <laughs> I, You're I, a fu- you are like a god awesome. up here. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you there's a whole club up there. That's probably why Abe Lincoln wanted to talk to him because he probably also shit in a box and left it on someone's front yeah. porch. He's shitting a big hat. Uh, <laughs> like, <what? laughs> He's shitting a big Lincoln he hat. He just had some fucking weird gripe against this local magician and then he yeah. switched his hat with the shit hat. You know what I mean? The oh, big... just went over and ate some undercooked lamb and just sat on his 10-gallon <laughs> hat and just let her rip. <laughs> he meant to pull out yeah. a rabbit, but... It's he just... just ate what you would eat in 1840. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> a bunch of berries yeah. and fucking... Yeah, like when was meat. the first normal... I bet the first guy who took a normal shit, like when they figured out they need to cook the meat and not just eat it with the flies on it and everything, they probably thought he was sick. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> why is it solid? Why is, where's all the red stuff? <laughs> 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 it's just the first solid shit. They're like, oh my God, he's dying. You know how, like, I think about that on, a lot. On His you, innards have if, frozen. When you eat different, like, bad foods with food coloring in it, like, say, a bunch of popsicles or something, it'll change the color of your shit. Well, you're not supposed to eat a bunch of popsicles. Well, people do, okay? That's a thing. And yeah. it's don't popsicles. That's me. not how the color Dick got popsicles. Out. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I yeah, have a popsicle. Dick popsicles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying, but like it'll change the color of your shit. You know that that's why. Like if you have like a stark green poop, like yeah. a nice forest green, um, you know the Quran. You know yeah. it's that color. Apparently, it's because I always wondered what that was. I thought I was like, if it, are you sick? Is that a thing? Yeah. You know, no. It's like if you eat food with with, with food colorant in it. It'll, color, yeah. yeah. So one time I drank a bunch of red Gatorade. It was when I was working at a pizzeria and it just, they had Gatorade for free. So why not? And I shit and I had an awful normal, like at the time, unhealthy Steve shit. And that just, you those just at a hurt pizzeria. Worse. That was, yeah. yeah. And they hurt and they were explosive anyway. But this time, uh, used to do, this time I, it was all God. red. And yeah. I was like, oh my God, it finally fucking happened. I was like, I knew there was something wrong, you know? And then, like, you know, and then I called it. I freaked out and they're like, did you drink a bunch of Gatorade? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. It's, uh, used to eat, we used to eat the pizza sandwiches, which was a slice of Incenzo's with blue cheese and then another slice <laughs> that of Incenzo's. Those are so good. But it was good. You gotta put some potato chips what? on it next uh, yeah, time. <laughs> give it a little crunch. Yeah. Maybe after I went swimming or something. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, that, and then of course, yeah, you're not like, must have been the Gatorade. You're like, it was probably that blue cheese pizza sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. They didn't really <laughs> They were fighting it wrong. out in there. I think we all know who won. I did, it still <laughs> felt horrible, but yeah. that's the thing. That's where I felt like that was finally it because it, yeah. like, like, when I saw, when I, it was proof Holy of to, it, well, like when that it girl, validated why you're feeling like shit when that girl threw up her heart or so i thought what? it was she oh remember yeah. she, she just drank a bunch of daiquiri and ate a bunch of weird food and threw up and it was all red yeah so. we were at a party and sort of it was in it was in your wife's basement in like high school and this Not other girl surprised. we have experienced a lot of weird shit yeah and she was just complaining of chest and you know pains, what? Most and we're all fucked up and we didn't care and then she threw up yeah yeah but she threw up a bunch of chunky red yeah. Shit, and I was like, "Your heart exploded. <laughs> we gotta call the cops. And so we, we gotta get her out of here." Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> you were the like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's the logical. Yeah, her heart exploded, and then she threw it up. Like this isn't a Tom Savini fucking movie. Yeah, you know what I mean? That doesn't happen. Uh, Forrest Green also sounds like a guy. Forrest Green, for yeah. sure, man. Like some indie like yeah. guitar singer yeah. guy. Forrest I did Green. actually try to picture someone's face the, immediately after you said Forrest Green, and then I realized you meant the color. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest Green, I'm just like, I got Forrest Whitaker in my head. Yeah. 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 Don't you take a shit and it looks yeah. like Forrest Whitaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one chunk of corn is just I like bet. slightly popped out. It <laughs> yeah. can't really, it's not really, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you got one kernel looking this way, the other one's going that way. <laughs> It's just that, <laughs> that perfect color of chocolate brown. <laughs> Took a uh, nasty Forrest Whitaker this morning. <laughs> <Just a> nasty <laughs> Forrest Whitaker. Couldn't help on. myself. Yeah, <laughs> king of Scotland, yeah. man. Um, <laughs> show some goddamn respect. <laughs> um, so, so wait, okay, wanted, so where what story we? did you want me to well, tell? We were in the Vegas oh, one. We I didn't even we get through the Vegas one. I think. So. I, yeah, it was mainly. I mean, well, no, I knew they were, were there. there. You felt the guilt, and then we went off. Yeah, and they said it was fucking nuts. And you know, no, I didn't feel the guilt. It, it was, just, poop talk, it was though, a weird it? talk. That, it was a weird discussion because I was like, 
oh my God, I could have been there very easily had I yeah. decided, hey, fuck it, let's just go to Vegas. You know what I mean? Like My <laughs> life could be drastically different right There's now. a lot of people who thought that. <laughs> but didn't you say they were there and they just, they were, whatever the story the news was saying did not match their experience? Yes, they said it was a little, I don't know, it was more chaotic. They thought there was more than one gunman. Yeah. Um, well, maybe, but it was chaos. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who knows? Like, especially, I don't know. And it, it was, you know, the guy who I, my friend Kyle, who was there, he's a combat veteran too. So he's seen it. Like so he's he been knows, in there. Yeah. I think he would know the difference between one fucking gun and two. I, the agree. sound of it. Yeah. Cause he's got to count and he's got to be paid right. attention. So there was well, a conspiracy that there was more than so one. There was a lot of reverb. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. So it, yeah. it, it, it was true chaos. People there was all that dying. country music. There's yeah. always gun noises in that. But, it, <laughs> but he got my singer Leah and I think their friend or mom, or his mom, I think was with them. She like kind of took my place, Kyle's mom. And he just quick thinking because of his battle experience, fucking got them the fuck out. They just instantly, they said, she said that he just reacted. Just knew what to do right away. Sweet. Yeah. So, like, I was like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? And, whole- I, and I wake up in the morning thinking, like, she's dead or Kyle's dead or something because of what she was like, everyone's dead. You know, like, and I'm like, oh, my God. And it, I didn't know what happened, you know. And I watched the news. And I'm like, this is. Let's go into Sean's head for a second. As soon as you said Kyle's mom. Eric Cartman. Oh. Right <laughs> <my head. laughs> but then the whole time you were telling that story, I'm hearing Eric Cartman go, Cause my bitch is big, yeah, that bitch. Yeah. While you're like, they're all dead. Everybody's all dead. <laughs> Jesus. See what see what uh, this this quarantine bullshit's doing to us, man. Yeah, like my head is now just no, going in two channels. Works that yeah, way. that's true. Well, come on, bitch. Big, bad bitch is big, <laughs> big, bad bitch in Hawaii. Nah, 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 nah. And you're so, just like, there was blood everywhere. They were dead. Uh, uh, let's oh. just say uh, I'm going to crack a beer and say cheers to you combat veterans out there, especially the ones that are there in dangerous situations. Situations to help the public out. Good on you. Yes, thank you very Give much. Give it up for the troops. For the troops. This one's for you. Um, so you wanted me to share the, what was the Mickey Howard one? story, oh, right? Yeah. Okay. So this kind of leads to. <laughs> so one night, okay, we, it was like uh, we went and saw Mickey Howard play at this cool, really awesome jazz club in LA, and um, it was a great show, man. She puts on a hell of a performance. And um, so afterwards, you know, um, our singer, she, Mickey is, she used to, I think, date Easy E. And my singer was Easy E's little sister. <laughs> That's, yeah. And but so, she's okay. She's, she's fine. She's cool right. as fuck, man. Right. Yeah. She's, yeah. No, she made it. Right. She made it. I don't know if you know anything about Easy E, but. <laughs> no, she, she's yeah. Alive. I don't know if you saw the end of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, um, so it was just a weird, you know, LA moment. I'm from. Lewiston, New York, you know, I don't really have too many celebrity experiences. And this was just kind of an L.A. I saw Keith Radford walking his dog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's like the coolest, you know what I mean? You know, I you know, I, I had sex in the E.G. Tax lady's fucking backyard one time, you know. Um, she has commercials, so that's O.J. Simpson celebrity. murdered my son. <laughs> Good Goldman and La La podcast. <laughs> He's a oh. full celebrity. Um, so anyway, okay, so we go to see Mickey Howard, and she's playing at this thing, and it was a great show. Um, and she, she's. I've been trying know. to do a Mickey Howard. St- I'm like Mickey Howard Stern. <laughs> Mickey yeah. Howard. He's got nothing going. <laughs> Sorry. So my singer Leah, um, that was like kind of her industry. Mom was M- Mickey Howard. Took her under her wing when she was younger and got into the music industry. So that's how she knows Mickey. So we got to meet her and her band and everything. It was great. So afterwards, we were going to meet her friend Daryl or Darius or whatever the fuck. I don't know. And. We go to meet him at this restaurant, and he's not there. And we're like, I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? It's like almost like, you know, it's like 1 in the morning. I'm, I'm driving everyone, including Mickey Howard. So it's me, Kyle, Leah, and Mickey, and I think her assistant or something like that in, in my car. And fucking um, then she's like, wait, uh, Darius is going to meet us right here or whatever. I'm like, okay. So we're parked outside of this restaurant, but just waiting for this car to pull up. This car pulls up, and it's fucking Eddie Winslow from Family Matters. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like, yo, follow me. And I was like, anywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I was like, cool. Oh, yeah. You know, so so we go to meet um, them. Or we follow him to like his apartment, which is like kind of off of Hollywood Boulevard, somewhere close. I don't know. I don't know where I was going. I was just following him, following Eddie Winslow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And fucking, so we, we park, what, what I find out is in front of his place. And uh, so his, his girlfriend gets out very tall very striking woman and uh long dreads and everything and and she was pretty but anyway mickey 
is in my back seat and she is kind of like half in the bag and she shouts she's like who the fuck that bitch you know and i was like oh fuck because then the girlfriend gets out eddie winslow's girlfriend and she turns she goes she goes who the fuck is that you know and i'm like oh shit you know what i mean and like so then she starts walking to the car she's like oh y'all get the fuck out of the car she's like i'll take you all on and i'm like yes yes what is happening and he's just like baby girl baby girl stop you know like Yo, chill, and, chill. yeah so he walks up to the to to my window because I had to put the child locks on so Mickey didn't get out of the car. <laughs> it was so funny. She was like, Steve. She's like, Stevie, get out of this. Or she's like, like, let go of the child locks. You know, she's like, I want to fuck Stevie, this bitch up. Stevie, I want to know. <laughs> and fucking like, so then he walks up to my window. He's like, Mickey. He's like, you got to stop. You know, this is going to end really badly. This is Eddie fucking Winslow in your driver's seat window. <laughs> yes. Just like, you know, trying to calm her down. This this diva from the fucking 80s, you know what I mean? Who I've never a- had the pleasure of meeting until this night this is, and, yeah. and let alone like i was almost living in my car at this point um so like so i wasn't really necessarily so expecting Winslow's guests yelling in yeah house. in my house yeah eddie winslow comes over <laughs> and fucking like it was the weirdest thing and then like tmz like in this van show up because they're really? like they're screaming at each other well apparently this guy, Eddie Winslow and Charlie Sheen are like really good friends. And they get into a lot of trouble together. What the fuck is so up? somebody was following always, Eddie Winslow. There's like a three degrees of separation between <laughs> you and someone with AIDS. Is that what LA is? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's really the whole fucking town. Um, yeah, and and I fucking uh, got to... Magic Johnson shows up. But it was just a weird like Hollywood fucking night. Like that would only happen there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, was, it was fucking... Nothing really... Like they didn't fight or anything, but it was just fucking... I was just Steve like... No. My mouth was just wide open, like bug eye, just like, oh my God! Like, you know, yeah. darting back and forth. Like, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened. You gotta be like, you Eddie, know? Eddie, I gotta ask you. Did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> so we were supposed to uh, hang out but then we just it was you know hostile so we just got the fuck out of there yeah hostile. that's funny which was even better you don't get those weird i mean it's like super uber famous people and then like those weird pop culture you know, like, i would rather hang like out that. with the weird yeah. uh, under people but, like because i spent like every day after school watching that shit you yeah. know what i'm saying like but i'm saying like weird uh, an experience like that or it's not like a comic-con where you like met him and took a picture with him yeah no like, no no it that. was completely organic <laughs> like, like, you see him him in his natural habitat yeah <laughs> you know what i mean you all see him up. past oh, that this girlfriend <laughs> yeah you guys are now like you can bond over that she gave me a uh, mickey howard she gave me this like the coolest autograph i've ever had like so at the end of the night i drop her off at her hotel and i i had her like live album in circulation in my car and she was like she said she was going to give me an autograph her industry mother was aretha franklin so she Ooh. was telling me all these stories it, it was incredible so then she, I, I, we're making sure she gets in the hotel okay. And then she, I see her like go up the escalator. And then she turns around. She's running down the escalator that's going up. She's like frantically trying to get off. I'm like, oh shit, what did she forget? She comes up. She's like, let me see the CD. And so I'm like, okay. So I give her the CD and she opens it and she kissed it. And her, yeah. so like that's like her, her lip print. Is the, yeah, yeah, that's her like from cool. you know, Mickey that's Howard. Cool, yeah. So I still have it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Just let, yeah, let your fiance know that's what that is. <laughs> Who the fuck is yeah. This? Takes what? it in the bathroom. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I Kayla desecrated falls it. Goes in the bathroom, and bathroom, just opens the, the child lips. locks. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds no, no. That's <laughs> you think that's what all the fucking predators are waiting like. That's their big metaphor for their purge, yeah. their purge moment. You know what I mean? Oh the God. child locks unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> Undo the child locks, child. Um, Come on, honey. Yeah, just weird California yeah. moments like that, man. Fuck Calabasas. Back to Calabasas. I was smoking a cigarette in a parking lot in, in the middle of the parking lot by myself. And nobody smokes in California, at least Southern California. It's just not. Or if they do, they do a very good job at hiding it. Well, in Compton, they smoke each other. Yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> so I was completely by myself and... Um, and, like, you know, I was in the middle of this parking lot. There was like a little bench and a tree. It's like a place to sit. And there was somebody, it was in like, you know, this big like plaza. And I hear like, excuse me. And I'm like, what? But uh, like, is she talking to me? And I look, she's like, excuse me. She's looking and she's all the way across the fucking uh, parking lot. And she's like, can you put that out? 
And I was like, are you fucking kidding? <laughs> by this point, I had had it. I was like, fuck yeah. this fucking town. I was like, you can't even <laughs> smoke by yourself. I'm in the middle of nowhere and somebody comes and bothers me by asking me to put it out. Like, she went out of her fucking way. It was so far away. You know a bunch I mean? of health nuts. Every third person here has AIDS. <laughs> Who cares about a fucking cigarette? That's what I mean. There's literal human shit on the sidewalk. Yeah. Like in Hollywood, yeah. there's human shit. You know that girl wrote a two-paragraph Facebook post about that today. I hope man. she Blowing cigarette smoke in my face. The wind was blowing. I hope she did. As, as good of a time I, as I had out there. I love California, and there's some things that are just, yeah. you know, that were just a, a striking difference um, between yeah. our culture yeah. and their culture, which is fine. You know, I just basically it was just be a nicer person and you'll be better accepted, which is, I guess, you can say anywhere, but that was California. You know, they don't take well to uh, homo um, uh, homoerotic jokes or. Or crass racial things. Well, they take town's it very a big seriously. gay joke. It's fine. <laughs> no, you, the, you uh, yeah, but no. I mean, like when when Trump was depends on getting who elected. I saw actual like like the people wearing masks, like in the masses, like just hanging on the streets, like like protesting, doing all yeah, that. like antifa. Uh, yeah, and I and I saw that shit. Like uh, things that you don't necessarily see here very often. No, you don't. And then yeah. you're like, what are you guys doing? Weird... You know, there's an option where you the, none of this. You're just chilling out and it's fine. And like <laughs> the fucking government overlords fuck you in the ass every day, but there's nothing you can really do to stop it it was really shitty because i understand i'm all about like in the theory of protest but it always gets out of hand in some way um because there's somebody there for the wrong fucking reason absolutely um so when we were we went to go see surefire uh soul ensemble play at this club called mrs fish in downtown la cool place how'd you Um, get that name (laughs) (laughs) there's actually really cool fish tanks uh, all throughout the place above the bar anyway Place is cool. Um, they get to meet my band for the first time. My, be, my band meets my brother's band. You know, I get to see, you know, my brother's band play out, like, you know, when I'm not on Facebook or something like that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I see him. It was a great night. It's but great to night. get there, ben we had to there. walk through a bunch of a crowd, like a whole city, pretty much, full of angry protesters. And they were revamping downtown um, to make it look nice because it was a shithole for a very long time. And some of these buildings and the layouts um, and out front and everything was it was gorgeous. Then on the way back from the show, those things that they had redone were like either like broken down, shit was ripped apart. There was Nazi, there was swastikas spray painted on the fucking beautiful fronts of these buildings. And I'm like, you guys did that. It's not like Trump came in and I don't, I'm not getting a political discussion, but it's not no, like no, but that's... you guys saying he's a Nazi is one thing, but like to desecrate or not desecrate, but you know what I mean? To vandalize, yeah, dude, vandalize. to like fuck all that shit to up. fuck this shit up, like and spray, like somebody has to clean that up who had nothing to do with it. It yeah. didn't make sense. The probably it was just immigrant stupid. who owns that restaurant. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the probably hardworking. Yeah, you know person. what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it was just like I was like, wow, it's crazy to be in this cultural movement that I see at this at this time to be there, but then to see the 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 actual firsthand of the stupidity. Yeah. I'm just like. Oh, Man, it does. You know what I mean? Like, you guys had us for a second. Like in that first part, you had us. I understand. I applaud the passion yes. and what you think you're getting to, but the the act, the the ways and means of you going about it, it's not getting it done. Yeah, that like there were spray painting a swastika on somebody's fucking wall. <laughs> yes. Just makes some guy who works for the city go. All right, I got to paint over like, this. Are now. you for? <laughs> like, Nazi, what did that do? You know, are you for the Nazi party or or against? I don't understand. Are you a racist? Is this in protest to racism? It doesn't make any sense. You know yeah. what I mean? It'd be I, like if, just if somebody who was a Ku Klux Klan member like got elected into office, yeah. which happens, but if it did and your your way to protest it is to burn a cross, yeah. it doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Because like, then the guys in See the what they do? Yeah. Yeah, I'm showing you. This is a bad thing, yeah. you know? And then a guy's like, Mr. President, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> they yes. seem to be coming around. Overlord. <laughs> you know you know what i that would be cool to be ted nugent at this moment you know what i mean because he got so like he doesn't have to interact with the rest of the world right. he's got he's his a, own fucking jungle his, pretty well, much there's a lot of guys he like, like on he his own a, land he has his own compound and shit yeah, yeah. There's a lot of guys like that. A lot of rich, eccentric guys who have that, you know. I think big... that's what I would do. You know yeah. what I mean? Why not have a bunch of land to yourself where you know you could do whatever the fuck you wanted on and you own it for as far as you can see? Yeah. Why and you not have, have that? Guns and shit to protect it. And, you know, right. crazy fans and, you know, people who will come help you, I guess. But I, I do think that um, he, the, the overlord, the Nuge, is like one step away from 
like hunting people. That's going to yeah. be like, once I say, remember we were talking about that green light. Once we get, when all hell breaks loose, yeah. if it turns to that moment, he's just the ready dude to go. going to fucking start <laughs> hunting people. I know he's it. He's just like revving his engine, waiting for the light to change. And <laughs> that is fucking metal. For what? Huh? Just to do it? Yeah, because that is the most dangerous How game. How long can you take right? it? Yeah. So once, like I'm saying, when, when say if there's martial law or if it gets to the point where there's no law, there's nothing, it's every man for himself. Nudes is hunting people. Yeah. I, yeah, heard it here first. That is, and then that is like the <laughs> most rock and roll thing. Like, oh, you threw a TV out the window? That's cute. Yeah, pussy. That's, yeah. <laughs> oh, you oh. snorted some ants? Yeah, oh, okay. that's cool. Oh, you fucked a girl with a fish? I remember when my Nana did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have human heads on my wall. I have a study full of human heads on my wall. <laughs> Taxidermy. Yeah. I am the overlord. <laughs> yeah. I am the news. I have the head of a guy from Zimbabwe. You know how fast he was? <laughs> so hard to catch. Uh, oh. All right, I'm going to take a fucking... Yeah, we can take a breather. I didn't just say a oh, black guy. I picked a country because those are the did. ones who win the gold medals all the time. I almost said something. Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> Where did that go? It w- I, and then I was going to think of another one. I was like, no, I got it. <laughs> 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 no more. All right. We can take a break. Yeah, yeah, I'll take this. Hold on. This is the Thurman and Lala podcast. The Thurman and Lala podcast. Uh, uh. Warranty. 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 Yeah. 
Will these uh, microphones survive a beer spit? Because yeah. I almost did one. That's fine. Oh, yeah, man. A spit take? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny. Just double checking because it almost happened when you were singing that song. <laughs> All right. All right. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. But it is interesting how... No, we're not. You got to get away from it. I mean, shit, how long do they expect this to last? And we're just going to every day. Like, I first thought in my head today, my eyes opened. I saw the tapestry up on my bed, and I went, ah, fuck. <laughs> like, we're, not, <laughs> we're still in this. Like, I want to go back to, like, just normal shit. But for, like I said, for me, my day-to-day is not that different. I'm actually doing a lot more, yeah. like, trying to do all this shit. Uh, but... Also, I'm like, hey, I have empathy. <laughs> I know that inside my peaceful existence, shit's going off. Yeah. You know, or it's not going off yet, but it was just waiting, waiting for that Ted Nugent moment. Waiting for the <laughs> fucking, yeah. That's, the overlord. False alarm, Ted. He's just like got like intestines stripping out of his mouth. He's like, ah, uh, no, we're not going to, uh, uh, <laughs> whoops. Did anybody know this guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, too soon? Try and get me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, on his ranch, I don't think they could find him. If they... It'd be like another Waco thing. Yeah, he's probably yeah. got hidden bunkers like Rambo. all over that place. <laughs> yeah, just him against like yeah. the, the ATF. Oh, and the now FBI. there's a movie I yeah. want to see. Yeah, Ted versus yeah. versus the U.S. Stranglehold. <laughs> <laughs> it would have to be <laughs> called Stranglehold. Yeah, it definitely would be It would have to be called yeah. Stranglehold. Oh, That'd my be God. The greatest And then it movie. would be that. Have you guys noticed in every fucking movie trailer of the last how many years, there's like some ominous, like creepy toned music, and then like a chick's voice comes in and sings the lyrics to a song you that, know. That you know, yeah. And That's it's like a thing. cover. It would be like Ted Nugent in the woods and like. Here I come again now, baby. <laughs> it's like all theatrical and shit. Like every fucking, I'm gonna make a playlist of all of those <laughs> and just play them. Because when you play them in a row, you gotta be like, God damn it! And it's so funny. It's like always the same thing. Yep. And then but we should start making them like ridiculous songs. <laughs> let's, let's make a, a James Bond style opening for Stranglehold. Yeah, like how like they have the the Billie Eilish one and like how it's all creepy and shit. Yeah, it'd be like awesome. that peaceful creepy. You know, yes. I'm yeah. down. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Just like somebody once told me <laughs> the world is good. <laughs> on your. I don't That's, know what the rest of the words are. Well, but I mean, hopefully nobody, she would. Cause. There's like three people that know the words. To that song, so <laughs> yeah. don't feel bad. Wait, someone brought up the fucking bare naked ladies, and they were like, they knew because it's like chicken to Chinese, the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick, <laughs> and something stops ticking. Your like you, your brain stops ticking. <laughs> you have a drumstick, and your brain stops ticking. What do they know? <laughs> they're like, they're like uh, Rolling Stones calling us. Really? Yeah. <laughs> For what? <laughs> what? They're like, they're, they're, they think you guys know something. Yeah. Uh, now it's the FBI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. The CIA was knocking on my door there. Yeah. I was just she, curious. Yeah. Mulder and Scully are here. <laughs> they also <laughs> say we're time NFL. travelers. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, all right. Look, look, it was all ending so far. <laughs> I don't feel good about this next one, but I was saying that this Wuhan thing, this virus is like the thing from the ring. And the only way to get rid of it is to pass it on to someone else. <laughs> so you pass it to wow. another person and then their phone rings and they uh, pick okay. it up and a creepy voice goes, 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking perfect, man. I don't, I don't, it's too funny, but I'm sorry. It has to be said. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 That's why people are dropping like flies. It's not a seven days oh, thing. Shit. No, ten, ten minutes. They got ten short. minutes to get rid of it. They can't do it. <laughs> oh, ten minute hell you! And now it's digital, so there's no VHS copy of this fucking tape. It's just a file oh, wow. that's going yeah, to everybody. That's, yeah, that's, everybody has it in their phone. It's like the Ultron of the disease world that can just infiltrate <laughs> anything. Yeah, I don't like how it like frowns. oh Wuhan, yeah. no help you. Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good, though. It's too fucking good. You just gotta. Yeah, just like there's gotta be someone. Really there's gotta be someone who who proposed the app called Tinder Garden. But I don't want to <laughs> look it up. I don't want to look it up. I don't want that file on my computer. It, it's called Tinder. It's called Tinder. <laughs> it's Tinder. It's not Tinder Garden. Oh, it's shit, I'm it's have a heart Tinder. <laughs> That's for the underagers. Yeah. Nice and ripe. Uh, well, like we said, you gotta, you gotta just let in. it go. 
hey, how about look? All right, I'll take it. I'll take responsibility for like you know the uh, Irish uh, effect on our on the culture. How many people you know are fucking drinkers, heavy booze bags, who never get shit done? That's our fault. Sorry, you know yeah. the Irish did that. We we everybody. This is a melting pot. And oh. everybody th- thought it was going to be a melting pot of good things. No, it's going to be the worst parts of all of it. Yeah. It's going to be fucking the fucking shitty, lazy booze bags from over here and the fucking virus bad eating motherfuckers from over here and the fucking, you know, oh, definitely a little bit of German slipped in because there's yeah. some people out there with some weird ideas. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, this isn't working out. <laughs> On paper, it seemed like such a good idea. Yeah. It only took a few hundred years, but... Oh, yeah. The Italian yeah, leaked in, because, hey, God, why is so goddamn loud all the time? <laughs> I've, I've, oh, hey, no way! <laughs> I have actively been trying not to yell in the microphone. That's fine. It's you so know what's hard. funny? I hope Ryan's listening, because on one of them, he yelled in the microphone, that one. Yeah. And he's like, ah, sorry, I didn't want to break your microphone. What I should have said was, that's your microphone, and I already broke it. Because <laughs> it is, and it's all dented. It looks like oh, if, you take the, if you take the foam thing off, it looks like Gumby's head. Like, it's all oh, slammed it's not to your it side. Yeah, it's too much noise. yeah, but yeah, so that's funny. <laughs> Wow. Uh, whatever. Well, it's confessional that's time. The world's cool. ending. We would kind of, no. we would have like, you know, different musicians come over and hang out and shit. And then they'd leave like a piece of their equipment somehow. And we never yeah. saw it. My, Stop uh, looking you at know, me, Never Steve. saw it again. I don't know, man. It's not here. Things just get, just, just collect here. The, you know the microphone you I use have live for big fucking mothers, ever. I have big mother's PA system here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's From like the 90s. Yeah. From Vegas. There's... <laughs> they, the, <laughs> We're not going to go back to Vegas. We're not going to go there. We're going to have fun. Mm-mm. We're not going to talk about the obvious arms deal. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, that's just what happens. If you have a space where people play, like, it just accumulates shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like if you leave something out in the woods and go back to it, shit's going to start growing on it. It's just going to start picking up things. Yeah, but then you get to play with it. Yeah, that's cool. Um. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Live. That was really live. <laughs> live. This is. Yeah. I went well, to. Uh, oh, I, that was too long a silence. I went to do this. Dick, <laughs> Dick popsicles. <laughs> but it was still muted from the jazz shit earlier. So as soon as I hit it, you burped. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's a new one. <laughs> that's a weird How button. the fuck did that happen? Remember when we were at. I, I don't know where we were, but we were all walking around and Tim had his phone in his pocket. And uh, he went and, like, jumped off, like, a picnic table or something. Yeah. And as soon as he did, either his phone, like, he hit a button when he jumped. Yeah. I or think someone it was the texted him. Button. Something happened. But as soon as he jumped, it went bling. <laughs> it's like a little Super Mario. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want, what else, what else is going on besides, you know, this thing that everybody's affected by massively? Well, I haven't seen you guys in a really long time. So what have you guys been doing to uh, keep busy and... Uh, all of this, man. Like, you know, fucking now that gigs don't exist anymore. Right. Uh, I know that's everybody's plugs now. It used to be like, all right, we're going to be up at a mock place. We're going to be here. Now it's like, yeah, stamps is canceled. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the Julio's 18th. is only doing takeout. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you go when you want to get contaminated? <laughs> yeah. The, we were going to play the Where April 18th. Go? With your <laughs> it's boys. okay to eat a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Squidulios. Squidulios. Wow. <laughs> uh, Squidulios, now serving all types of bats. Don't worry, we cook them. We cook them real good. We get that Wuhan shit right out of there. They're fried as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fried as fuck. Um, what the fuck? Oh, we were supposed to play on April 18th, do like a 420 show. With your buddies in Orange Corner, um, Bashar and yeah. Tim, yeah, but I guess that's not happening. Well, when, when is Ted Fest supposed to happen? Ted Fest is in August. Oh, okay. So like that should late be in August. Yeah, yeah, he's worried that's not happening, though. Really? Yeah, dude. Well, dude, people. it's tough, man. It's Who knows? I think, How the fuck do you plan I for I feel anything? like the government is being like your drug dealer. Because, like, everything, like, no, man, five minutes, five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then, no, like, yeah. Because if your drug minutes, d- yeah. dealer realistically told you it'll be three hours, you'd be like, fuck, and go yeah. find someone else. Yeah. But if they keep, like, you know what I mean? Then you go nuts or That's what I'm saying. Off. They're not telling, they're like, they're coming up and being like, oh, we're going to get it under control and everybody just wash your hands. And then they get in a room and they're like, these people are going to die. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but then they're like 30 more days, and at the end of the 30 days, 30 more days. Well, that's I think that's the only way to keep people 
from absolutely losing their fucking minds. It's just another yeah. 30 days. You're like, oh, okay, I'll do like a 30 day uh, challenge. You know, I'll do a we're... cleanse. I'll do a, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, uh, work on my physique. Uh, I thought know? we were talking about something else. We were? Can't, well, you guys, what have you been up to? Uh, uh, canceling gigs. That's what yeah, I've been canceling up to. gigs. Yeah, yeah. rescheduling well, through well, email. That's what I've been doing. Bashar told me earlier you were doing a. Uh, you guys were doing a live broadcast from the basement. Oh, the fo- friendly foes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing live streams on f- the Facebook page and my Instagram page. Uh, I was kind of sticking it Thursdays at noon because Pete's working nights. Um, so yeah, yeah, and we've had a lot of people on the Facebook watching. Um, but for some reason, Facebook won't let Pete turn his phone sideways, so we got to put it straight up. <laughs> oh, that's I weird. downloaded an app um, called Facebook Watch on my Xbox because I have you, surround sound. you thought it was something else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You had to watch other people. Yeah, <laughs> other people on Facebook without them knowing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I kind of do. Actually, it does say who's watching you, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so now I can, I mean, you know, but Facebook it's easy to watch so. shit at home. So I'm saying it doesn't have to be just on your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, everything I, I we do is speakers, and it we, pretty fucking good. We record them and then we, like I put, I record them on my cameras too. And I put it all together and put it out, you know, so it's all, and then like I've, we're bored and I've been doing ones where like I put up crazy effects and shit on them. Like that matches with the music. I, sort of the way. Like li- visuals. You're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Sort of the way lights would change like on stage with the song. Because like I've been watching hours of this footage and it's re- at the end of the day it's just two guys standing in a fucking basement, <laughs> like you know <laughs> what I mean. Like if you you know you want to make it a little more visually appealing, but it all sounds pretty dope, I guess. And the jams are cool because when you're at a bar, you're uh, you, you gotta like pop into the next one, get everybody dancing. Mm-hmm. You know you gotta keep everybody's attention, get the girls dancing. Everybody wants to sing. This is more like we're just chilling. And it's like, let's stretch this out. Let's get weird. Let's start <laughs> fucking finding weird noises in the synthesizers and shit. And like, so it's cool. The music we're making is cool. And I'm glad that we're going to have this, you know, yeah. after. Or this is just it now. <laughs> would, a, would a Zoom work with other musicians? Like, could you? Could uh, you I don't do know if there's zo- a delay. I, uh, everyone's been trying to figure that out. Yeah. A thing that would be cool would be cool. some guy records himself playing something and gets like good audio of it and then sends it. Like well, there are along? there are apps that do that where you can record and stuff. But you're, uh, Jimmy, are you talking about doing it live? Yeah, yeah. And from different rooms, yeah. type of thing. Well, there's actually, yeah, I think so because all the podcasts I've been watching have all been Zoom. But here's the thing with a podcast: if there's like a half a second delay, you're not going to notice. With music, if there's a half a second delay, it's going to yeah. fuck the whole thing. Yeah, up. it's going to yeah, muddle absolutely. everything. Yeah. I mean, a thing would be a guy records something. And video and audio of him playing something and then send it to another guy and he adds his thing and then another guy adds his thing and then you put it all together and put each thing on the screen separately. Like, that would be cool. Well, if any of you nerd-ass dweebs out there know how to do that, I would I've been trying to, to figure it. it out, man. I've been trying to... F- I mean, the live streaming, I know, if, you know, the uh, we're, we're working on it. You know, we're getting more shit. At least trying to make as much content as possible and putting it out because I know people are looking for it like yeah. i'm getting more like responsive people like when's the next podcast Dude, when's the next is, thing i'm bored as fuck the weird thing is um about this is that like you know i have a lot of friends who play and shit like that and i'm not always able to get out for a while before this thing i was working overnights on weekends so i didn't see anybody play like ever but now i'm getting to watch from my fucking living room all the, all my friends play it's not like they didn't have videos and shit before but yeah. now i get to actually see yeah, but something you didn't care to do it yeah, I know. But now now that's like things change like that. And so now I'm just like, now I get to fucking watch them create shit live in front of me. You know what I mean? Without having to bump into some fucking yeah. asshole I knew from high school. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, and yeah, like, for like introverts. Hey, why aren't you in this band? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. what? Because it's not my band. What are you talking I, about? Dude, I get that all the time. People, why aren't you up there playing? I'm like, because it's, I don't know. Cause he's playing now. Cause he's playing. <laughs> like, what do you think? Like, you're not, you're not chasing your dream, bro. I'm like, we played here yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't here. You weren't here. You didn't give a fuck. <laughs> now that you're drunk, I have to chase you. What you think my dream is? Yeah. There, you know, there's more than one band, right? Yeah. There's more than one stage. Y'all nuts. <laughs> well, a lot of people around, around here thought that, you know, like we were the Thurman's like kids, you know what yeah. I mean? Or something, you know, we're the, we're brothers. Yeah. Eddie from the jug. 
thought we were brothers for a long time. There's a lot of motherfuckers who say, hi, how is California? <laughs> oh, right. that's yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I did a yeah. quiz that said... Uh, it was fine when I was there for four days. Like, was, how well ago. that... Yeah, Jimmy took this quiz. It was like one of those bored I'm on Facebook. I'm really? Fuck that quiz. Can I take that said, now? That quiz. You can, yeah. Should I take it? It's, it's not that one. funny. It's, it's not a like a one. funny oh, quiz. Damn it. But I can make it funny. It's a well, yeah. Steve Best quiz. And I'm just going to yeah. put gay for everything. It was messed up. It was messed up. Well, then, then there was a new one. Now I don't remember why I brought that up. I don't either. I don't care. You Fuck that quiz. <laughs> yeah, yeah. M- Lindsay scored the highest, which was bullshit. Absolute yeah. bullshit. L- listen, when I took the test, and I'm sure many people got the same question wrong, I've seen two of the movies with Steve. No, that, that, that question was totally fucked. That one was fucked. That um, one was but fucked. But one of the questions was, like, what, which band has Steve not been in? And it was... G Spot Punchers, Mechanico, Clyde, and Annabelle Black, and almost everybody put like Annabelle Black because yeah. that, that was the band I was in in LA, yeah. and everyone just assumed I was in Clyde, yeah. <laughs> just right. because it was around and we're friends. Get you know, started name. Oh wait, we just gave him a couple of answers. No, I would know that. I was in three of those bands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no right. cheating. Um. So, uh, I don't know if any of you know out there, but Steve's been quite the handyman lately, from what I understand. Yeah? Yeah, I haven't... Did, what'd you do at your house? You cleaned? Yeah. Cleaning shit like the I baseboards. I thought you meant he's been, like, jerking people off. Oh, dude. I had the best <laughs> well, hand job from Steve the other night. It was amazing. Handyman. He paid a lot yeah. of attention to the tip. The hand- it was wonderful. <laughs> that, that's yeah. my Craigslist ad. The handyman. <laughs> the handyman. <laughs> but I haven't seen your house Who since... can make a dude come? Well, you're coming You're coming Saturday, right? <laughs> oh, she just surprised me. Lube it up a spin. Um, I am coming Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you don't use spit. <laughs> Rub around the head, make dick feel good. The, handy, the handyman, handyman can. can. The handyman can. The handyman can. But it's still a guy singing it to a bunch of kids. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. You refer a friend, you get a free handy. Oh, my God. <laughs> kids, tell your dads. <laughs> now, I, now I fully expect a tip heavy hand job. <laughs> a tip heavy hand job? <laughs> yeah, bud. <laughs> Lots of palm friction, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, you better spit. I want. Oh, oh, okay. Get All right. That's you it. get Venmo, like Venmo, because you're not going to want to trade cash anymore. Cause cash is dirty. So cash gonna, is dirty. Yeah. They're going to Venmo hookers, and you picture a hooker in a cash car with a dirty. guy. Cash is dirty, but a tip heavy hand job's okay. <laughs> if you pay through Venmo, well, why, digital currency. Why, why add money to the mix? <laughs> you know, all, yeah, already the knobby fucking yeah. You know. I just picture like a hooker sitting in a car with a guy going, just a minute, just a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Got it's it. there. Got All right, it. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Thank you for the Cha-ching. tip. Yeah. Yep. All right, all right, let me do this. Who is Steve's favorite film director? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Tarantino. Correct. Oh shit. What's Steve's favorite color? I know it's I know it's not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't announce your scores. We're well, not gonna announce them. I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. I'm just wait. What am I supposed to do? You no. It'll I was just gonna take end. it. It'll tell you at the end. All right. Yeah. Uh no, green you weirdo. <laughs> What's the name of Steve's first dog? First dog. I think it was this one. Is that right? Yeah. Nice. Okay, Margo. Yeah. I've never met Margo, but I heard Margo stories. Yeah, she's dead. A, a lot of, a lot of, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it's the end. She's super fucking dead. Yeah, spoilers. That's why she's not your dog anymore. Yeah. How many tattoos does Steve have? Two. That I know of. Yeah. What band was Steve not in? Clyde. We already answered that. Steve has slipped on a banana peel before. True or false? I would assume that's true. That why would you put it there? Why did you just put it and it was false? It was just, that's what I mean. Throw people off. Yeah. But I did. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of, you got the bad motherfucker wallet. What wallet does Uh-oh, he carry? I'm coughing. He doesn't. Well, why? Yeah, where, where does Steve keep his cash? <laughs> Sock drawer. What oh time? fuck! You were supposed to hear that. What one. is Steve's pin number? <laughs> what is Steve's middle name? I don't know. Is it Joseph? Aloysius. Aloysius. <laughs> that, yeah, Stephen I, I Aloysius. Wish it was. I'm definitely changing <laughs> it now. Name. Aloysius. Good one. Aloysius. Nah, come on. Dude, <laughs> Aloysius. Aloysius. Yeah. Just in your argument with someone, just say that word out of context. <laughs> Locutius. Yeah. Uh, uh, Aloysius. 
be like, ah, uh, okay. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> you just saying things. Yeah. Uh, I think, it, yeah, dude, I know you better than you know you. Yeah. Which yeah, music yeah, yeah. venue has Steve not played? I don't think he played at the ballroom. Or at least I wasn't there. Steve's first card of vanity plate, it said Mimo. <laughs> yeah, I think he got a, a ten. later skater. I got nine. You got nine. Which I one did you miss? I got the color wrong. Oh, yeah, it's green. Yeah, who got? Oh, Lindsay got nine. I tied Lindsay. I told you. Lively and your brother. I told yeah. you. <laughs> I know. Here, you should read the first. Uh, the, your first four. The names. <laughs> Who's girlfriend two? <laughs> uh, that was Kaylee. Oh, <laughs> she got a five in the first one. Wow. She doesn't know shit. She doesn't know me at all. She's just like, okay, first off, who's Steve? <laughs> Lizzie Tavey. Oh, you mean that guy that lives with me? Lizzie yeah. Tavey stopped by and picked up the guitar, and she's like, I only got a five. I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> did, did she asked what kind of booze you liked, and I said, anything. Yeah. <laughs> I gave her a list of things, but she was like, what kind yeah, of booze is Jim like? I was like, anything. Why don't you take his quiz? I think what right kind now, of booze you could probably use rubbing like, alcohol. That could be your... Uh, yeah. yeah, that could be your quiz. Yeah, what kind of booze? Is, see, any answer would be the correct answer. All of the above. Mine would be too easy. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, I think so. Well, what, you don't have to make it easy. Oh, I get to pick? Yeah, hmm. you may, Yeah, you can make your own questions. The sample questions that they gave were kind of part of that first one. That's why I got all fucked up. I'm too up. lazy to make that. Well, I had nothing better to do, so I sit around and make 80s music and, yeah. and fucking listen to records I'm gonna make, and pick up dog shit. Like, thank God my dogs poop because I would have, like, do, that takes yeah. up a good chunk of my day. You, <laughs> you know, know what? what I mean? <laughs> to help the time I feel pass? like I'm a retired guy. Like, I'm wearing sweatpants constantly, always just standing on the porch. No reason. Just looking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just looking. Just, you know what I mean? Getting angry at people on bicycles. You know, I do. <laughs> I don't know why. I fuck bicycles. Bicycles, and I ride one sometimes, but just fuck other people on bicycles. And I have no reason to be angry at them except because I have no other, I have oh nothing else in my life right now. You uh, know, to help the time pass, I just started pooping in the yard too, cleaning it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody somebody does, I think. They let their dog shit in the front little grass part, and that, that kind of sucks. Stake you know? out. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. But there's too many people to stake oh, out yeah. for because there's a guy who drives by like every night but at a different time and, and he, he's got like one of those fucking You have like, been little, staring. <laughs> no, but you got no, the whole like neighborhood you hear on the it clock because now? he's he just like goes as fast as he can down the road and the engine's like and it's like obnoxious and it's like three in the morning. And I just wanted to kind of sit there and wait and see which one he is, you know. Give me four liters of Mountain Dew and I'll shoot his window out as he drives by well, with with an air rifle. Not with a real gun. Not with a firearm. He could just as easily die. It just, you know. Nuh-uh. It just people wouldn't hear it. No, I'll just crack his window. Okay. Yeah. Well, you didn't hear it here. This is no. not happening. This is a script we're writing. This is like if it we're turned into Mad for Max a play. <laughs> type of thing, you know. Like if it turned into like that post-apocalyptic world. I forgot you, we you were ever think of I'm what, not going to lie. What post-apocalyptic like, like, movie that you'd kind of rather that it be? Like if it turned out... That it was going to be like the world is actually ending. Which uh, post-apocalypse movie world would you choose it to be? Uh, like you got. I always a movie? figured. No, I don't want to put an idea in your head, but I always assumed Jimmy's would be um, Mad Max, or you know what I mean. Or what's factual? What's the second one? The one, the better one. What the hell is it? Uh, what, Road, Road Warrior. Warrior. Yeah. Yeah. That because of all the custom cars That's and all the crazy yeah. shit. The, you're just living on the road one. type of thing. But yeah. also, also. I do love the Death Race series. Yeah, the, you ever see that, Sean? Death Race? Yeah, the original Death Race. The Dave, original one's awesome. What was it? David, David Carradine. Carradine Sylvester was the bad Sloan. guy. Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone drives a Corvette with a knife sticking off the front of it that looks very <laughs> phallic. It does. It's, yeah. But the goal is to kill like poor people or it, sick people. Every, and then everybody. Everyone, like you get points. It's you like this points. huge oh. race. It's a race And they all the have country. weapons on their Sorry. cars and shit. Oh, and shit. They, they try to kill each other. This movie came out in the 70s, I think. It's, yeah, a, it's, class, it's a really yeah. fucking cool grindhouse movie. Yep. Yeah. Um, but it's, you know, tongue in cheek. Like, you know, it doesn't take itself too seriously. Seriously, but that would be actually like kind of more super over the top gory deaths. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're just you know they get points for like hitting people or stabbing them with their with the penis knife. You know, yeah, the Stalloner. But then the new one, the new series takes a it's a whole different spin on like it. Jason they're they're, they're, in, they're in like it, a know? prison on yeah. an island and the prisoners have to compete. And, and like probably Dave Bautista or some shit like that. Fun to know, watch. He's in every ex wrestlers. Yeah, I would, <laughs> it's like what oh, else are they doing? Ooh. I just uh, maybe a movie you guys have never seen. It's called Night Riders. Like K N. I I thought when I was a kid it was a Night Riders movie. Like the Night movie, Rider, yeah. yeah. Or like no, David it's Hansel. not. It's not. It's a traveling, like Renaissance festival show, 
but they ride dirt bikes and shit and like sword fight and really? have like joust with them. It is incredibly violent. I watched it when I was like eight years old. I convinced my grandma <laughs> to rent it, and we watch it. And I was like, "Holy fuck!" <laughs> so remember, one of those two would be my first per- perfect choice. I think most of like like I watched like a ton of fucking action movies with my dad when I was a kid. You know what I mean? Because by that point, like I think I'm the youngest of four, so they censored the shit out of my brothers and my mom. And be, and before and I was ele- or not my so you're mom, the my sister. Pass of in every pass. They yeah, just, and then it's yeah. just like so I got away with a lot more. Like eventually, my dad and I were watching like Terminator together or Rambo's. You know, just watching people explode all the time, and uh, that became like a normal thing. Um, but like my mom like wouldn't let I forget which brother it was maybe Matt not get the album <laughs> Slippery When Wet by Bon Jovi because there was a fucking song yeah. on it called Social Disease and she wouldn't let him get that and I think she burned herself out and got so tired you know because I, I remember I gave her money in the third grade to to I went to like this Lasertron birthday party and they were gonna go fuck off at media play for like an hour and so I had I saved up money and they bought me Appetite for Destruction. See, that's how they didn't care. You know what I yeah. mean? There's a blatant parental advisory thing. And that's the luxury I got. It was yeah. getting oh, Guns yeah. and Roses when I was younger and watching, you know, action movies with dad. But oh, Richie Butt Fox got Results are question. Like, my sister wasn't allowed to go to see uh, Raffi or some shit like that, like, one time. Oh, and my yeah, sister that's... still brings it up to my mom. She's like, what could I have done that was so horrible at that age where you would not let me go see Raffi? They had tickets or something. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, that is kind of evil. Like, why would you do that? That's effed up deprive a kid of that you know i'm glad he's yeah. not on like the predator like Raffy? take down yeah you yeah. know what i mean he was one of those genuine because i think yeah like guys like that like it's you're just playing a little too close to the to the sun there you know what i mean like i'm not gonna work with kids it's like you don't want to work with your chick you know what i mean you're with them all day anyways you gotta go to work and hear their shit <laughs> get shit where you eat man. yeah exactly get shit where you eat <laughs> separate <them. laughs> so really he was just doing it smart then yeah okay yeah yeah so no well no i don't think well, Rafu was fucking kids that's i think that's the point he was he was fucking big human sized people and like we're normal sized adults god i'm glad you clarified that i'm glad you clarified that and then he would uh yeah, cause I'm, yeah. <laughs> and then he he would go to work with the kids but who oh michael jackson god. worked with kids too but what you said was like he ba- like he would h- hang out with Macaulay Culkin and shit, so it would right. bait other kids. Honey pot, you know honey what I mean? Yeah, have shit. a real yeah. sweet bait, and then this, Wait, uh, all the fishes yeah. come. Yeah. How come I'm the only one that answered the question? What about what? Oh, the post apocalyptic. Well, thing? I don't know because then we went off in a million things. Yeah. I've thought about we're talking about the zombie. What type of apocalypse we would? Can like. I pick for you? Sure. What do you think? Water I Water world. You think so? Yeah. Because just because I don't have a jet ski and I've always wanted <laughs> yep. one, and that's like the primary yep. mode of transportation. I think you're right. Yep. I think you're right. But that movie is way too long for its own fucking good. Do you, you ever see Waterworld? Yeah, not the Kevin whole thing, Coster. but it's enough, yeah. Yeah, yeah you don't I need to it. see the I whole thing. It. Yeah, just don't. It know. wasn't like the biggest, most expensive movie ever. It was just kind of flopped. Yeah, it was a bad, bad decision, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's all financially irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, it's creative. <laughs> way over Artistically, the top. Artistically, yeah. it was all bad, you know, yeah. but for, for sure. But I don't know, because the ocean, like, terrifies me because there's things in there that want to eat me. Usually in this area, like, where we live and when I go in the woods, I don't feel, I don't yeah, fear being yeah. eaten yeah. that's a nice luxury i like to have um, you know what i mean so but in the ocean like if it was just me and a jet ski eventually i'm gonna have to go in that water yeah and sharks you know are the, <laughs> the scariest shit fucking in the water. you better I, enjoy I think, that luxury while you can because they found bull sharks all up in the saint lawrence seaway before so. no come on man I, I you know it's nice diving in the lakes that we have here or the rivers you know and the worst thing you got to worry about is cancer there's eels. you know <laughs> like it yeah, takes a while to kill you, kill not you being eaten. slowly like you yeah. might lose your leg to cancer but not immediately and violently in front yeah. of all of your friends yeah you know that's that's a horrible way so i'd re- you know i think you know when they say if you manifest like you can manifest good things if you just think about good <laughs> things you know i think i just I and mean, it's going to be the opposite because i don't want to be eaten by anything but let, for gonna certain bring it about, yeah and because i have such negative like thought 
towards that a lot in my life <laughs> that it's going to happen you're just you know how many times i happen. didn't want to be on a pier in california because i pictured it like <laughs> like collapsing and i'd be like this is it this you is know it. i know it's gonna happen but imagine like the relief when it actually happens you can let go of that that's true and then you will find peace. well i have like dreams about it until you know the shark I mean? bites like, sometimes you. it happens in between like, knowing like, oh, it's okay. happened in between the like you see the fin and it's coming yeah. and it actually biting you there's gonna be a nice moment of peace in there <laughs> so it's gonna everything- like i finally no, I don't have to be afraid anymore because it's happening. <laughs> I, I picture it like, you know, once I see that fin coming, then like, you know, every all the other noise like fades out and then like starts like the Dawson's Creek. You know what I mean? I don't want to and you, you know? just give yourself to the shark. <laughs> yeah, just be taking. You know what I mean? Like a like a girl being fingered at prom. Just oh just, be, just let it happen. Just, yeah. Just relax. Just take it. Open up. The shark's like, I'll be gentle. <laughs> what kind of correlation was that? Uh, we just talked about so water, world water, water and world. sharks and yeah. then not water, not water world. world. Yeah, that, that's that is, my answer. I mean, so I, mean, I didn't answer what I wanted. Being that fingered one was... on prom night and eaten by a shark. <laughs> well, that's my know. apocalypse. It's, I'm going to make my own movie. I, I haven't seen that one yet. It's just the laying back and accepting it. And yeah. like you just you let the shark have its way with you or the shark will get mad. That's the what kind of you... prom night did you guys have? <laughs> I didn't actually get to go to prom, so I have a lot of weird thoughts as to what happens there. Yeah, I don't know what goes down there. Yeah, So I just assume girls are getting finger banged left and right. Right, and you know, it's mine like is based off of that song age. from Not Another Team Movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the only thing I know about the prom. <laughs> He's gonna get her back no matter what it takes. <laughs> da, 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 yes. da, at the prom tonight. Um, I don't, I don't have a wide enough uh, catalog in my head of these post-apocalyptic movies to really know the details and which one I would want. Can we pick for you? All of them seem not great. <laughs> no, it's pretty shitty. You yeah. know, it's always like, I, yeah, pick one. I have an answer. What do you think? What, what are they whispering to each other? You think so? Yeah. What? Okay, I can see that. There's a lot of hermits in there. All right, well. Let's, what is it? Okay, the, the post, the postman, another Kevin Costner. Isn't that just <laughs> Dry Water World? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. Much. They were like, "All right, let's take and, away the but water." But he keeps the fucking mail going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he that's re- what I'm doing. He They're like the he most reconnects important. people. Right, oh exactly. shit! Yeah, and and st- I kind of do that. I connect them through like super that's not right. okay jokes. <laughs> right. He started off as like a loner and then yeah. realized the need for people to reconnect. Yeah. See. Well, yeah. Yeah. and shadows. I'm using this I'm to connect this game, all of you guys I together. Like I'm good at this Even game. though the world's collapsing, I'm going to keep doing the podcast. <laughs> Just by your... No one's listening. It's me doing important things. <laughs> There's going to be someone out there. They're listening. like, somebody is listening, and they've just been waiting for you to give them yeah. your coordinates to come and save you. You just haven't. You just keep <laughs> <No>. talking. <laughs> They're like, you idiot. We've been listening to this guy for three months, and he yeah. hasn't told us where he fucking lives. We're ready to come get you. We're just sitting there like with all the shit ready to go, and it's just like me playing out of a speaker, and I'm like, a lot of people forget about Batman Begins because the Dark Knight was so good. <laughs> but Batman Begins it's was great. Yeah. <laughs> see connecting people is important postman work i'm doing here see, it is I i'm taking so. i'm taking out of this postman thing i'm gonna get the outfit whatever he wore in that movie and just wear it while like we a... do this my pick was since i don't really know but like the the dawn of the dead that's in the mall i knew you were gonna pick that yeah. remember the one part during the, like wait, the whole this... montage where the guy's like fucking that chick oh yeah just that on a loop <laughs> can i have that like a like a tiktok video just it keeps playing over and over again mine would be the dude who's like cross-dressing he's like the guy who's <laughs> yeah. trying on the bras yeah. and shit that would be my loop <laughs> hey, wait. steve it's not anywhere near october <laughs> <laughs> who cares at this point you know that would be the next cool. show i'll just show up dressed as that a would chick. be fun and like i'm I've not had... gonna be around for halloween time doesn't exist yeah. anymore i've had like weird trippy dreams like that where you're like somewhere like big like a mall or something yeah. big but you're alone and you have freedom to just do go through all the shit and yeah. do whatever you want like that would be fucking cool i want to do that as soon as this whole thing you know really right before like shit gets crazy yeah but like when it's still cool like we just walk around the mall and like look at shit and get just eat a fucking edible and just walk around a mall that completely by yourself wouldn't that be fun you get to go play with all the shit be fucking dope you yeah. get to go do all the stuff and like there's like the go-kart thing in there you could just take it over have you seen the show on netflix called daybreak no. Do yourself that and watch it. That was pretty intense. Yeah, I didn't, get, I didn't get through it. but um, Dude, it gets wild. But yeah. it, it's a bunch of high schoolers. All the adults disappear or they're, nice. a lot of them die. And then the rest of them are term, <laughs> I like it. turned into like zombies type oh. things. So it's a bunch of fucking high schoolers just yeah. running the world. 
Yeah. Well, that sounds awful. It's like actually. Lord of the Flies type shit. Yeah, yeah the that. one kid's the smartest kid ever though, and just takes over the mall, locks it down. That's cool. He's got everything. Dawn of the Dead, I think, is my favorite zombie movie of all time. The, the original. Yeah. 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 I like them both, but the original one's like my favorite, yes. man. Yeah. Um, and that's the one I actually tried to watch the other day, and I I turned it off. Too it's just, close to Yeah, home. just yeah. because that's the one where you see the public. Like, the first one, Night of the Living Dead, it's isolated, right? They're, they're doing what we're doing, pretty much, but yeah. except there's zombies outside. Then fucking uh, um, the second one, Dawn of the Dead, the, the 10 years later, it was like that sequel was it wasn't even a sequel but it was just you know the next one in the series they fucking you see people starting to freak out and like businesses are closed and people are trying to buy shit and they're you know what i mean and the yeah. national guard's coming in and it's like and i was like oh god you yeah. know what i mean and they're clearing out buildings because people are too close to you know what i mean and You're they're like trying, right in the middle of it where yeah, yeah. and then we I don't was just know like, that was the first time i've ever had that relevancy you know what i mean yeah. like i've never you know what i mean in a zombie movie like i haven't I don't know. It's a, this is it's the, the what if. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, that's the thing is we, there's so much we don't fucking know. Now the redneck in me and like the horror sci-fi geek would be like, yeah, zombie apocalypse. So we can fucking shoot people. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but you know, I don't think that, oh, that's not I cool. Don't shoot anybody. I don't. I mean, I just want to deliver my mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can do that. That's what, that's what I don't know. I think, you know, Mad Max, I, I'm not that good. I can't drive stick. So I would be dead in that world, like, instantly. You know what I mean? You learn pretty Max. quick. You think so? Yeah. That's part of the survival. Under the circumstances, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's yeah. actually a skill most men should know. Minus points for you. I know. That's what I feel like. But you said that you were going to... Um, How can you be a handyman if you can't drive sticks? <laughs> <See>? <laughs> maybe I am. You know what? I just haven't tried it. Maybe I'm so fucking good at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? See, maybe that's part of the problem, though, because you focus on tip work. It's more in the shaft. Shaft. Yeah, yeah. it's working. So what would be the clutch on on your on your set? Uh, prostate. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, eh, these old ones take a little bit to get going. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta <laughs> warm it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. There he goes. Ah, uh, she's still got some life in her. Ah. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> I love the the feel of these old ones, you know? <laughs> really grabbing the road. <laughs> Sounds like she needs a little lubricant. All oh. right. Well, so post apocalypse, <laughs> we're gonna jerk off old men, I think. Right? That's what, what the fuck else do. are we doing? Well anything yeah, goes yeah, at that fun. point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're not there yet. All right. right. Thurman and La La podcast. I gotta take a fucking piss. <laughs> um I, yeah, we're gonna keep going as long as we can, right? Yeah. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, said the world. Yeah, I might should be painting at my house. Oh, we're gonna okay. try to get, uh, we're gonna try to get our buddy Dave. Yeah, Dave's coming down Sunday. Is Are he? we gonna do live on Sunday as well? Uh, I mean, we'll try. I don't know if anybody's even paying attention to this, or if well, it no. sounds good. We'll find out. We'll try. Whatever. Fuck it. Because you know, like, you want to put him out live because, like, in the time it takes me to like turn it around and put it out, yeah, it's like shit might time. end. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. So you get it while it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> The flies limited. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, uh, tell your friends. Uh, sign up for everything. Subscribe, all that shit. All iTunes, right. Spotify. Yeah, leave SoundCloud. reviews and comments and shit. We'll Even if re- it sucks, just we want to yeah. hear it. Oh, make it. Yeah, tell us it sucks. That'd be funnier. Yeah. Oh, tell us yeah, what you I don't like. I want to hear nasty shit. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. 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 Also, send titties. <laughs> oh yeah, we yeah. Will, yeah send titties and tweet your location when you hike alone in the woods. <laughs> yeah. So that's Let about summed know. up, right? Yeah. Okay. The Thurman and Lala Clearance Podcast will be back shortly. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. This is the Thurman and Lala Podcast.